Behind me, we have a few plants that we're looking to remove and transplant to a different location. We're looking to add a walkway here, and we're probably going to move these plants to either a different place in the garden or actually somewhere else like a different home. Now there's a few things to consider when transplanting and moving around different types of plants. We need to think about potential disease and insect issues. We need to think about these issues within the soil itself, on the plant, and how these plants might actually be a host for certain disease or insects that affect other plants within our landscape or garden at the new area. So a good example of this would be we have a current to my right. This plant is actually a host for white pine blister rust. So if we're moving this plant from where it's currently at, we don't have any five needle pines, but we move it to a new landscape or garden, this plant can potentially host a disease that will affect some of the pine trees within our landscape. The other consideration is what does the new site look like? The plant we're moving, is it going to be suitable for that new site as far as can it handle the heat, the cold, is there going to be enough water? Is it the right zone of plant for the new area that it's getting moved to? You might want to think about the timing of when they should be transplanted. Usually we want to transplant during the dormant season for the plants that we're moving. If you have questions regarding what plants should be moved or not moved, insect or disease issues for certain plants when you are attempting to transplant something or actually receive a plant, you can contact your local Extension office for more information. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.